My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. 1970 Dodge Challenger convertible. The convertibles are rare. This is one of 84 made with a 383 motor in it and an automatic transmission. So super rare car. This one's been verified by Galen Govier. He is the Mopar expert. He visually inspected the car. He's seen it in person, verified the VINTAG is original. The motor is the original to the car and it has the original fender tag. Uh, overall, very nice uh, restored condition. Go to volocars.com. You can read all the specs, study all the pictures, the documents, and you'll find price tags on all of our collector cars on volocars.com, along with the monthly finance payment as well. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, tops down, let's go for a spin. Underneath is very respectable. The front end looks like it's all been rebuilt, new bushings. Uh, you know, the nuts and bolts are clean, the cotter, cotter pins, steering components. Uh, the front end looks like it's all been gone through in the last uh, a few years or so. Uh, the shocks in the back look recent. Uh, dual exhaust is very recent. It has the round, big round resonators in back with the square tips coming through the valance. Uh, it has a disc brake conversion. It was drum brake, so that's all new within the last couple of years. Uh, the e-brake assembly is all hooked up. Hoses, brake lines look good. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's super clean. Starter's clean. Uh, it has a correct uh, 1971 uh, 727 Torque Flight automatic transmission. Uh, that has been rebuilt. I do have some miscellaneous receipts that will go with the car, and there is a receipt for the transmission build. Um, <clears throat> it's an eight and three quarter rear end. I have miscellaneous receipts for some bearings, uh, pinion seal, uh, ring and pinion gear, I think were changed. So the rear end's been gone through as well. Drive shaft was replaced. Uh, don't know what I'm forgetting about under there, but overall, it's been rebuilt mechanically under the car. Uh, structurally, the frame rails, floors look good. They did put in two uh, floor pan sections. They did a nice job. Uh, so solid, rebuilt underneath. The body is in excellent shape. I just checked it out before we started filming. Uh, you got the RT power bulge hood, they call this. Uh, and the whole body is straight. There's no damage. All the lines are nice. You know, the, the body lines and gaps, and it's perfectly smooth. There's no bubbles. I already went feeling and touching all around here for bubbles or any, anything that's not right, and it's smooth right down to the very bottoms. Uh, no damage, no dents, no rust, and it is straight. The whole trunk area is beautiful. Again, no rust, no bubbles. There is a hairline crack right here and if you know anything about the convertibles whether it's a gm or a mopar there's a seam right here and especially in a convertible it's going to flex it's going to crack uh, so it's a hairline crack right there but again this side's just as good all straight and smooth all along the bottom i already checked it out uh, really nice body and i told you i was feeling for bubbles and while i was feeling i don't know what they put on this paint but it's slick like teflon there is a nick in the paint on the edge of the door. Uh, other than that, in that little crack, I didn't notice any flaws. The paint is smooth and slick. Uh, they says go mango orange is what this one here is. You got the chrome racing mirror in excellent shape, Challenger RT emblems, 383 four barrel. You got the blackout stripe. It has the optional hood turn signals. They're not working. Uh, the turn signals in the dash are working, but it does have them. The grill is good original. The bumper and bumper guards look pretty new. 
The trim around the front looks pretty new, although there's a little dent right here, and there's one on the other side too. Uh, original uh, lens here. Wheel well moldings nice. Uh, probably a reproduction correct antenna. That's real shiny. New windshield. The trim is real nice. There's a few dents here and a crease here. It must have been folded and they straightened it back out and put it on. So this piece of trim, although you can live with it, you might want to replace it. Just a little wear on the door handles. It's got the uh, pop-up gas cap. That looks shiny and new. New RT emblems, re-chromed rear bumper, tail light lens is excellent. The chrome around it's original with some pitting. So this all looks beautiful. Restored wheels, they're all painted, you got the right center caps, trim rings, reproduction Firestone wide oval tires. The black convertible top is power and it has the correct Mopar uh, grain material. The door jams are real clean. The weather strips are replaced. This is the window seals right here. And this piece from here to here is, is cracked. So you may need to get a new window seal uh, eventually. So that's the outside. Why don't we check out the inside? Opens up nice. Uh, it's got some nice shiny orange paint under the lid and in the jam. New weather strip. The trunk floor itself is real clean and solid, has a gray and white spatter finish. Uh, it does have a spare. It also has a jack assembly tucked up behind that rear quarter panel there. Uh, the mat is not brand new, but it's been replaced. And the well liner that the top goes down into has been replaced as well. The door jams are very clean. Bottom of the doors, the lip is real nice and dry. Weather strips were replaced. The plastic door panel's in really nice shape. It's not damaged. Uh, might have a little bit of wear on some of the components there, but, but overall very nice. The dash pad is in really nice shape. There's no splits. Again, the VIN number on the dash has been verified by Galen. That is the original. The instrument panel. Uh, all fits real nice. Nothing's cut, drilled, or broken. The original AM radio, I turned it on. I get static in this metal building out in the country, but it, it did come on. <clears throat> Glove box liner is new. The light works. It has a reproduction tough grip steering wheel. So down on the floor, you got new carpets and RT floor mats, a center console. Also very good condition, uh, but there is some pitting around the bezel on the slapstick shifter. The seats are in real nice shape. They've been reupholstered. Back seats reupholstered. The side panels are real nice. I did notice the front seat belts are missing. It looks like the back ones are there. Um, so talk uh, if you're buying it, remind the salesman. Uh, we should do something about front seat belts. Also, the visors have been replaced. The pillars are real nice. So overall, very good interior. So again, verified original motor to this car, 3D3 motor. A magnum motor uh, has an Edelbrock aluminum intake with a dual feed Holley carbure carburetor on there. Uh, some finned aluminum Mopar valve covers. Other than that, everything's stock. You got the right air cleaner, exhaust manifolds, distributor. And everything looks proper. It has the uh, bottle for the washers, the, the the horns are down here, the batteries bolted down, plug wire, Chrysler plug wires are in their holder, uh, the, the right shroud, everything looks real good. <clears throat> it features power steering, power brakes. The engine bay is all nice clean metal, painted orange, including under the, the hood. 
The fender tag is also verified as being the original uh, that we keep in the office and there should be a picture of it on our website. Uh, Galen also verified there's hidden VIN numbers stamped behind here and there's one up on the cowl and they match the car as well. There's not too many people in the country that can say they own a 1970 Challenger convertible. I think they made about 1,800 altogether, uh, but it does narrow down to 84 with a 383 automatic. Uh, I would imagine most of them built had 318 motors in them. So a pretty rare car right here. Sharp looking, very nicely restored. Came from down south, uh, Tennessee to be exact. So there you have it, an opportunity to get a rare muscle car that looks good, top goes down. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman, ask them your questions. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance it as well at volocars.com. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.